Hello, I'd like to show you a couple of wrenches that I've uh, got. Uh, I get these uh, either from eBay or you know, I'll show you a, a wrench I got from a flea market. Flea market definitely is, uh, is the place to go for price, but um, let me show you this one. This is made by a company called Plum. Uh, not to be confused with Plum. Plum made uh, mostly striking tools, hammers and things like that. And Plum was a uh, socket, ratch, uh, ratchet, and uh, mechanics trade tools. And I think they were well made uh, for the time because things have improved. Uh, this one, you will see, is... Uh, and let's see if the camera can focus that close. It can't, but I will tell you that um, somebody ground this down to a quarter inch. But from what? Well, from a 930 seconds, because the WF8 designation on this ratchet, which is uh, located there and you can't uh, apparently see, uh, tells me that it's an, a 930 seconds drive. Uh, a little beefier than the quarter inch drive. I don't know if it was done to make the tools incompatible with quarter inch sockets, uh, drive sockets, or if it was done in fact to uh, uh, to put this tool in a quarter inch format, uh, physical format, but with a little beefier drive. These, um, like I said, this was modified to a quarter inch and a pretty poor job at that. I've seen uh, people who have modified them to a quarter inch and did a fairly decent job, but I wasn't interested in that, so I bought another one. Uh, where I got this one from, I've had it for a long time, I don't even know. I think I got it with a bunch of other stuff, so I wasn't uh, hoodwinked. But people will sell these as quarter inch, and I think it's, uh, in many cases, an honest mistake. They look like quarter inch drives. These are 930 second sockets. These are actually not quarter inch, uh, and they will fit on an unmodified WF8 932nd socket, like this one that I'm going to bring into the picture now. So this is a WF8, uh, cleaned up, not too much, didn't try to make it any prettier than it might have been when it was made. It says WF8, it has a wonderful action to it. Uh, they have a spring on each pole and uh, the spring goes between the inside of the case and the, um, the outer edge of the pole and it's a very simple mechanism and uh, well it works well. Another ratchet uh, that I'd like to show you is this that I found on a at a flea market just on the weekend. Now the guy told me when I offered him five dollars for it now, I offer them five dollars because, and this you're going to love this. This uh, mechanism for uh, switching the ratchet is really uh, intricate. Uh, it's got a re uh, it's got a ball like the kind you see that will hold a socket. You could see it on the left side there, and it's a it's a push. It's got a spring behind it, and uh, and it holds the lever into position. It's got a very nice spring inside uh, with two coils. These screws are the pivots for the poles. So the, pit, the poles have holes in them. These screws go through that. And, um, well, it's made, it's made like a, uh, as some people used to say, a brick shit house. It's really strong. It's super heavy, but it didn't work. What happened was you'd have to hold it to, uh, to keep it from locking up. So I figured I'd offer him $5. He didn't want $5. Uh, and he came back and said, look, I was trying to sell this for $25. He says, but um, uh, it's the end of the day. I'll give you $10. I said no and actually walked away. Ended up giving him 8 I could have gotten away with the $5. I really could have. But my way of thinking is I like, I like both ends of a transaction to be happy. Um, so the way it went down was simply this. Uh, he, he came back and he said, all right, I'll take the five. And I said, well, in the exchange, I had offered him seven. And he said, no. And it's when I walked away, he said, all right, I'll take the five. And I said, well, I did offer you seven, so I'll give you seven. You know, because as I said before, I'd like both ends of the transaction to be mutually uh, agreeable. 
And he said, well, if you really want to make me happy, give me eight. So I gave him eight, you know, I really didn't have to. Uh, but you know what? I feel good. So what was wrong with this ratchet? Well, besides being dirty, as they all are, um, I couldn't find anything wrong with it. And then I realized what the problem really was. If I turn this to the side, well, maybe you can see, maybe not. But I will tell you that this piece here is a, a flat piece of steel. And it had bent up and really wasn't contacting the ratchet. Now, so I tried a couple of things. First, I tried to swage this rivet. And it's a, it is a rivet. Uh, according to the patent, which I found for this wrench, uh, it could have been a screw and I could have modified it. But, uh, but I swaged it. And that helped a little bit, but it really didn't make the difference. And it would still lock up and not hold its position on the retaining ball. So how do I get this to bend down? Um, because if you can't take it off, and I really didn't want to take it off because then I'd have to make a whole rivet for it, and I just didn't feel like doing that, I found that I could take a, well, I'll call it an Allen wrench. It's probably made by Bondus. Uh, and I could slide it under here. Let's see if we can do that. Well, maybe I can't anymore. But I was able to slide it under there, uh, and as a fulcrum point, I was then able to hammer the uh, this piece down after clamping it and it worked very well I really don't want to fidget with it to, to show you that it goes underneath uh, but it does it went all the way under and I was able to get it out and that did the trick and the ratcheting is excellent and it's built so sturdily inside so uh, there you go eight dollar wrench half inch drive it looks well used I mean somebody actually hit it as you can see in that picture. Uh, and uh, But you know what? <laughs> it's the kind of wrench that you really could use as a hammer. I would never, but uh, there it is. Well made. So who is this company? Anyway, I didn't tell you. It's called New Britain. So, of course, with the internet, you can look anything up that you want. And I found that New Britain uh, was a major player in the mechanics tool trade, hand tool trade. And... Uh, they made tools for Napa for decades. And uh, they also acquired, in the 70s, I believe, they acquired Husky and Blackhawk. And through th further reading, I found that Blackhawk is a well-respected name of their USA tools. Um, they highly finished, high quality, and many of the patents uh, came from the inventor of this. I can't recall his name. But these ratchets, both SK and uh, uh, New Britain, I mean, had individuals behind them who invented these mechanisms. And reading the patent is very interesting. And, uh, well, how much fun can you have for $8? Because, uh, you know, after a very agreeable exchange and taking it home and working on it and making it function like uh, it originally intended, um, well, that, that took up you know, most of a day and uh, very enjoyable too. So there you go. Uh, a little bit about my tools and uh, myself and uh, the way I think. And I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I hope to have something else for you in the future. Thank you. Have a great day.